we are back with another vocal workout. I'm Matthew Johnson, owner of Elite Singer, and in this workout, we're going to focus on chest voice, building more strength in your sound. Now, before we sing, let's talk about what chest voice is. Chest voice is that lower register in your voice where a vast majority of people speak in. So if you say for me, one, two, three, four, five, go ahead, I'll say that with you. One, two, three, four, five. Chances are you're speaking in your chest voice. The opposite of this, your higher register of your voice, is your head voice. So if you hoot like an owl, whoo, this also sometimes sounds like Mickey Mouse, oh boy, that lighter and looser quality in your voice is your head voice. We are not going to focus on that register today. We're just focusing on that lower register. Now what's happening when you create chest voice is your vocal folds make a V with the closing in the front and opening in the back of your throat. And when that back closes down, that's how we create sound. Now the thicker the vocal folds are, the more chest voice we have. So if we're using a ton of chest voice, oh, we get this nice thick type of sound. Vocal folds are closing at the back and getting thicker top to bottom. If we're using less chest voice, ha, ha, there's a less thickness in that sound. So for this workout, we're going to think of engaging that thickness, adding in more chest voice. And we're going to do this on the word go, go, go. Now we want to make sure a very common issue that people have in chest voice is that they sing or speak too breathy or too loose. We don't want to sound like Go, go, go. Go ahead and say that for me. Over-exaggerate that breathiness. Go, go, go. We want to do the opposite. Say it nice and strong. Go, go, go. We want to keep that feeling. We want it to be strong, but we don't want it to be too loud. So we're going to keep the volume of your voice at about a 7 out of 10 volume-wise. If we push beyond that, that's where it starts to get a little bit shouty, and we want to avoid that. So we want to be strong, but not loud. The benefit to this is once you find a strong chest voice, it makes it easier to get into your mix and it balances your voice overall. More strength, more power, less tension, and more ease overall going throughout your range. So with our go, 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 we're going to have you sing on a 5-3-1 pattern. It'll sound like this. Go, go, go. We're going to start you off at a B flat three. Go ahead, sing it with me. Go, go, go. Now, as we go higher, I want you to think of this G consonant. This G, G, G is going to help to close down your vocal folds and keep them strong. So dig into that G and that'll give you the power that we're looking for. Let's sing some of these together. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Keep it strong. Go, go, go. Don't let it get breathy. You want to hang on to that chest voice not about volume, it is about power. Nice. A few more. Stay strong for me. Highest. Well done. Now that we know you can get into that strength, now the challenge is can you hold on to it? Our last pattern was a 5-3-1, but we're going to add a lot more fives this time around. It's going to sound like this. Go, 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 go. That's five, 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 three, one, one, two, three, four, five notes on top, and then you come on down. What this is going to do is challenge you to not only start strong, but maintain that power as you're singing through the pattern. Let's sing some together. Go, 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 go. Nice. Use that G once again. Go, 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 go. And you hold on to that string. Each G is a reminder to stay strong. Well done. To keep the vocal folds thick. So they don't crack or get breathy. Well done. Go, go. Keep that strength. Excellent. Two more. You're doing great. And highest. The last exercise was trickier, but it still gave you a little bit of help. By saying those G's, go, 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 over and over again, it's giving the vocal folds something to hang on to. Now we're going to start to pull that away from you. So instead of go, 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 we're going to start to sustain these notes a little bit more. 
can you sustain this type of power on just a vowel? And this is about as tricky as it can get. So if you can get used to this, then you really have nice control over your chest voice. We're going to continue to use a 5-3-1 pattern, but it'll sound like this. Go, 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 go. So we're sustaining that five just a little bit longer. Five, 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 three, one with our pattern. Let's sing that together and then we'll take that up higher. Start strong, keep it strong. Go, 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 go. Nice. Go, 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 go. Drag your power through that vowel. Excellent. Hold on to that power. Continue to use that G to help you out. Nice. It's getting tricky. A few more. Last two, you're almost there. work. If those are feeling easy, of course you could take them up higher in your range. And if they're feeling tricky for now, that's completely fine. You could return to this video as much as you want to, to use this great practice routine, building that chest voice and getting more control into your lower register. If you enjoyed this vocal workout, we have many more coming your way. So let me know in the comments, what skills do you want to focus on? And we'll make sure to add them to the list. And if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It definitely helps out the channel. And check out the description below. I have a free resource to continue to help you build your singing skills and confidence. So thank you so much for joining me today. I am looking forward to seeing you soon for another video.